All right, hello. Welcome to the weather update. It's about a quarter to ten. It's one of those days that you're definitely glad not to be in New Jersey where it was absolutely brutal today. Um, why does my volume not seem high enough? Let's raise the volume up a little more. I don't know why, but if you can't hear me, I raise it up a little bit. I don't know why. It looks like it's a little low on the meter. But anyway, um, we started off with clear skies in the morning, and then the, cla- the sky got kind of milky uh, later on in the day. Uh, and actually, I went down to Long Beach to... Wasn't uh, the breeze wasn't that strong even right at Long Beach? Uh, you could see it, kind of a milky, hazy, junked-up sky by the afternoon. Uh, and uh, here you go. That is what it looked like at sunset in Wansaw. But anyway, um, clouded up later, and then we got more of these clouds kind of coming in. Some high, mid-level clouds. And it's getting kind of humid out there too. Uh, let's go over the current conditions outside right now. Uh, temperatures across Long Island, generally in the mid to upper 50s now. Low 50s on the south shore, a little warmer toward the north shore. Uh, low 50s on the east end too. City holding on to 60, 62 in Central Park. And look at this, still 70. <laughs> still 70 degrees at Lakehurst. So it's blazing in New Jersey today. Like I said, one of those days that you don't want to be in New Jersey. And if I throw the dew point in, you can see dew points are in the mid-50s. Uh, and I mean, it's warm enough here, but in there, it's even worse. Dew points here, a little less, uh, around 50 degrees. But they're starting to, starting to come up. So let's take a look at what our highs were today uh, across the area. Uh, so looking at our high temperatures today across Long Island, you can see... Uh, still fairly close. Still got up to 71 in the middle of Nassau. South Shore, 60 at low 60s, 63, 66 at Islip, 66 at Shirley, 63 in West Hampton. Look at the North Shore, though. They got into the 70s there. 69 in Central Park. Uh, and then as we go into New Jersey, this is where things really were very hot today. Uh, look at this. 80s. That's right, folks. Ra- almost 80 degrees in downtown Tom's River. 84 at Lakehurst today. 84 at Lakehurst. That is, you know, unbelievably hot. Uh, just, just unbelievably hot for, for, uh, for April. Uh, really, just you could see, uh, you could see this. There was a breeze though. If you went to the eastern parts of Tom's River, it was 70, and then on the Barrier Islands they had 60s. The breeze just doesn't go very far inland. You really have to be east of the Parkway. Um, other than that, you are just dying in the heat here inland especially in the uh, just unbelievably and how warm it stayed all day. We're going to look at that, too, when we go to the Wonder Ground site. But uh, really incredible. Uh, it's just one of those days. This is just a reminder of why I don't want to wind up having to live in New Jersey because of the heat. Uh, again, a certain demographic doesn't care about that, but that's why I'm determined to fight uh, for what I need. Uh, so uh, you can see the current temperatures here uh, across the island again. Let's go look at uh, the station here in Mineola here. And uh, we'll see how warm the station got today. So let's see what the high was today. 73 degrees. Yeah, we got got to the low 70s at this station. And you can see it did cool off, though, after 4 o'clock. With the, the breeze did eventually come in and knock things down into the 60s. This, this site got up to 73, though. We'll look at another site here. Uh, let's, use, uh, let's use Carl Place. That site might have been a little high. Let's go look at Carl Place and see what they got up to. 70. All right. So I think it's a little more right. It got close to 70 degrees today in the middle of the day. And it was pretty warm. And you can see it really just not cooling off a whole lot this evening. A slow, gradual. Yeah, like I said, there really wasn't that strong of a breeze. Um, now, the North Shore, like Port Washington, let's go to Glen Cove. Glen Cove is a hot spot. It's almost as high as Jersey. So to show you, some people say, oh, live on the North Shore. Uh, 75.9 was the high today. That's pretty damn hot. Uh, so, yeah, pretty damn hot. All right. Uh, so let's go look at uh, the South Shore. Uh, and we'll start here with, uh, let's look at uh, Massapequa. Montel well, Woods, that sounds like a nice place. Let's uh, let's see what they had today. So it was only 62 degrees. So on the South Shore, it was a lot cooler today. Uh, just the winds weren't very strong, so... It's, by the time they got up to the middle of the island, they warmed. 62.8 was the high. That's all it hit. Wow. Just absolutely, look at how great they have it on the south shore. So much cooler. That's why I need, to, I need to live there to survive. Middle of the island's too hot. It's only going to get hotter with climate change. Um, and then if we go right along the shore, like at Long Beach, which is where I was here, 
That says North Lindbrook. Why does it say North Lindbrook? That's not North Lindbrook. Well, we'll go to Village of Atlantic Beach. All right, so you see right on the beach, probably only in the 50s today. Yeah, 59.4 was the high today. All right, let's work our way further east. Let's take a look and see how things were uh, in the middle of Suffolk County. So let's go to Ridge. They probably were pretty warm, too. So let's see. Probably in a similar boat that we were. Uh, 69.8, so almost 70 degrees in Ridge. You can see that. And it stayed there. Actually, they may have been a power outage from this time here. It's an awful. It looks like nothing changed or some kind of outage or something. But uh, you can see it dro started dropping to the mid-60s by 5 o'clock. But still, it didn't really cool off until much later at night. Again, it just, it just shows you how warm it is in the middle of the island. Uh, and then when you wake your work your way to the South Shore, we'll go look at North Patchogue again. I know my viewer North Patchogue likes to say he's more representative of the Middle East. No, you're more representative of the South Shore, actually. So let's see what 67. All right, so it was he did get up to 67 today, uh, but it was see, look, it was brief, and then it cooled down. The sea breeze came in at 11:30, knocked it down to the low 60s. So we only deal with the warmth in the morning, and then it was better. Trust me. North Patchogue is a lot cooler than Mineola, and a lot cooler than Ridge. But, of course, what's cooler than North Patchogue is if you're right on the water here at the Bellport Yacht Club. So let's take a look and see what they had today. Well, I'm sure they probably didn't make it out of the 50s. Oh, yeah, high was only 56 degrees. Look at that. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's nice and cool. So that's what it was like if you were right on the water today, uh, and that was the place to be. Uh, but now... Let's go and go to the hottest place, Jersey. Uh, and you're going to see how bad it was in Jersey today because uh, it was warm right through the day. Um, let's, uh, let's go look at this Lakehurst, side, Lakehurst station here because this is the station that reported that high near, uh, in the 80s. So let's see, 85 degrees. Look at this. And it was in the 80s most of the day. Look at this. 80s right through the afternoon. Didn't start dropping till like 6 o'clock. It was still 80s. 80s till after 6 o'clock. That's, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. This is why it's so brutally hot there. It's a very hot place to live. Holiday Heights. Let's take a look at this one. 83 degrees. So a little bit cooler, but still very hot. 83 degrees. Oh, man. Uh, very, very hot. So now... Downtown Tom's River. You'll see how much more limited the sea breeze is. So they got up to almost 80 degrees in downtown, 79.2. And again, it just stays warm right through the day. It's unbelievable. Uh, you got to go really, you got to go further. Even here, 67 still, very warm. You got to go right. I mean, the breeze doesn't even make it in here. This is Pine Beach, for instance, all right? Uh, you'll, st you'll probably still manage to get up close to 80 to the guy. Oh, a little cooler there, 74.6. So a little bit better, but they're warmer now than they are than the, than I am, right now. Uh, and you got to be right on the water. So if you go to Ocean Gate, for instance, maybe there they avoided the 70s. Let's see. Uh, 63.7. So yeah, right on the bay, right on the Barnegat Bay, there was relief. You got to be right on the bay though. All right. Um. And the Barrier Islands. Uh, so if you go to South Seaside Park, for instance, uh, you'll see here that, uh, yeah, only 70.8. Only their high was only 70.8. That's still warmer than our South Shore, though. So they don't get the breeze like we get it, you know. They do not get it like we get it. Uh, but there you go. That's sort of like what was going on. Uh, just another one of those days. Glad not to be living in New Jersey. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. So let's talk about what we got going on here. All right. Severe weather in the Midwest again. No, actually, it's in the south. Uh, this is really becoming the main, main tornado alley. They call it the, the, well, used to, the old tornado alley was over here, but now it's more over here. It's almost like Dixie Alley from, uh, you know, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, into Tennessee. Uh, that's really the main uh, area that sees this now. Tomorrow, we're going to see our, our, that's the day one, but let's go to the day two. And you'll see that uh, we're going to be on the edge of a slight risk of severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Uh, and uh, marginal for much of Long Island. The slight risk is northern half of New Jersey into the Hudson Valley there. All right. 
And uh, the weather service is talking about this too as well, uh, because if we go and we go to the weather story, you'll see risks for severe thunderstorms tomorrow. You can see that map right there. Uh, and you can see uh, this is being the afternoon, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Line progresses west to east. The threat diminishes after 8 p.m. Uh, so you can see it kind of encompasses the, uh, the, the, uh, the slight risk encompasses the North Shore of New York City, North Shore of Nassau, New York City, into central and northern New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, and Connecticut. And the marginal risk encompasses the rest of Long Island, uh, central Nassau, so we're really on the edge here between, you could really consider maybe Central Nassau and the slight risk, uh, marginal risk, mostly Suffolk County. And the only area that escapes the risk would be the South Fork. But generally, we're going to have to watch for this, uh, these chances of severe thunderstorms tomorrow. So let's go and look at the models now. We should have enough of them in. So you can see what, hap what we have here, two low-pressure systems, ridge pumping up the heat. Uh, it's going to pump up the heat tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a pretty warm day. Worse than today, i got to look at the wind vectors because we could see Channel 12 is being very conservative with their highs, and we all know who they're forecasting for. Uh, and uh, we, can, we can roast them at the end of the video. We'll have to see. Uh, but you can see this front coming through tomorrow night. Uh, and then uh, for Friday, another uh, drier air mass builds. And I'm not going to go be giving talk about the weekend right now because uh, we're going to just focus on this cold front. And tomorrow, obviously, is a big day for me, as you know. Uh, so let's go to the HRRR here. We got the 0Z in. And uh, luckily, it's in the morning when there won't be any severe thunderstorms. Uh, but uh, you'll see tomorrow we're dry. But look at the look at this. Look at what we look at what we're starting to see now in this front. There's a V-shaped that uh, the isobar is there, and you can see right around this is I would say let's see this is like this is four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. There's a strong thunderstorm that looks like it goes over the northern part of Nassau um, and then kind of diminishes as it moves east. And then we have some more showers and thunderstorms that kind of linger around. And then they slowly shift their way east. Uh, and then we're uh, dry with the high pressure building in on Friday. All right. Uh, but let's look at the wind flow on this. All right. Uh, so here's the dew points here. And you can see southwest winds. So it looks like the southwest. But if look closely, and you can see somewhat of a westerly trajectory so the question is how westerly does that trajectory get if it's more if it's southwest to west southwest we could see 80 degrees here in Mineola good chance of that um, and only the south shore would really be the south shore would be mainly in the upper 60s and low 70s Jersey you're gonna see another day 80s um, and you can see all these high dew points and look at this dew point pool that occurs look at this dew point shoot way up and this could really contribute to some severe weather around uh, that time, all right, around that uh, evening rush hour, all right. And then the dew points come down. We got northwest winds coming in uh, for Friday, and then they eventually back to the south again in the afternoon. Uh, so let's look at the temperatures on this model here. So here are the temperatures, and you can see Jersey. You're not getting going below the 60s tonight, and then look at tomorrow. Oh, this is not good at all. So we're gonna blaze tomorrow. This model has us hitting 80. Everybody hitting 80 except for the South Shore. Uh, they'll be in the 70s. Uh, and then by afternoon, there'll be a sea breeze. So this is 19Z. So 2 o'clock figure, 2, 3 o'clock. The South Shore will be in the 60s. But the North Shore in the middle of the island, uh, near 80 still, and perhaps over it. The city definitely 80s. Good bet we're going to see 80s tomorrow. This is a significant amount of heat uh, for April. Uh, very abnormal. Um, uh, and this is going to come, this front, this cold front is going to come through and then knock those temperatures down. Uh, and then uh, after the midnight, you'll see those temperatures drop. And then for Friday, it's still going to be mild, but we'll be in the 60s, low to mid 60s, uh, but not as, not nearly as uncomfortable as tomorrow. So let's go, and I'm going to go to News 12 because I bet they're not even saying it's going to be 80 tomorrow. Let's, let's go ahead and go to News 12, Long Island. If I could actually spell, that would actually be awesome. Uh... Let's go to News 12 Long Island and look at the weather. And we're going to see. So this is their forecast for tomorrow. Hourly forecast. It's going to be a lot warmer than that. It's going to be a lot warmer than that. There's Samantha Ojiri. She's forecasting for the South Shore. Uh, that's all she cares about. So let's see. This is what she's going to show tomorrow. So again, see, all those numbers are for the South Shore. 
They have 77 Glenn Cove. She's being way too conservative. Glenn Cove gets well above 80. She's being way too conservative. This woman has no business being a meteorologist on TV. No business at all. Stay in Long Beach, Samantha, because that's all you know how to forecast for. All right? These are way too low. All right? Way too low, these temperatures. All right, and you can see here, look at the temperature. It hasn't hit in 69 tomorrow. That's for the South Shore. That shows who this network is to. South Shore, Channel 12, South Shore 12. That's their forecast. The rest of us, we're going to be sweltering, but obviously they're only looking out for their own kind. They're not going to be sweltering. They're going to be living it up, having a great time on the South Shore, avoiding the worst of the heat and the crime and all the other misery going on. Save it for another video, I know. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a brutal day tomorrow. It looks like the HRR is really cranking up the heat. Now, of course, there are the models we could look at. We could look at the GFS, but look at that, showing the same thing. So I think that southwest flow uh, is going to really get us in the middle of the island. Sea breeze is really only going to be effective for the south shore, and that's only and, and it's mainly going to be a, a, you know after like the noon hours. Uh, for the rest of us, it's going to be absolutely brutal, and uh, hopefully I'll be up to being on the south shore in the afternoon tomorrow because I don't want to be in the middle of the island. It's going to be horrible. Um, absolutely horrible um uh so there you go this gfs also cranking up the heat quite a bit uh and this is going to also help the instability for these thunderstorms so speaking of that let's go to the ventu sky we're going to look at this tomorrow now on the ventu sky channel 12 is really just way off with their forecast so this is the ventu sky look at has 80s over us even Islip airport's going to get well into the upper 70s all right um and even the South Shore, even like it's even got upper 70s even in the southwest Nassau. You have to go to the eastern part of the South Shore, say South Shore of Suffolk County, to really start seeing relief. And it's only going to be limited to the south of Sunrise Highway area. So I think North Patchogue may even get to 80. Um, uh, because you can see killer west-southwest wind. It's off the boilerplate of New Jersey right there, right? Here's 3 o'clock, right? Sea breeze not really making a whole lot of progress. You see a little bit, a little bit of progress on the South Shore there. But mainly, uh, we're going to be sweltering in the middle of the island. 80s are, are almost definite for tomorrow. I think we're going to see low 80s. Uh, it's going to be a hot day tomorrow. Uh, unless you're right on the south shore, either in Long Beach or south of Sunrise Highway in Suffolk County. It is going to be a brutal day for all of us. Uh, 5 o'clock, you start to see where those thunderstorms are now. All right. So now, let's go and look at the Cape. Oh, there is some Cape here. So here you go. Uh, this is showing some Cape. Uh, good numbers over Jersey, but I think with that, with that heat, I think the Cape could hold together. Or it's, let's go to the lifted index. Ooh, yeah, that's. We're gonna see some action tomorrow. I think. I think we're gonna see some action tomorrow, uh, and then it's gonna move through. But th I think there's a good chance we're gonna see some strong to severe thunderstorms, and I, I would fully expect that we may see a severe thunderstorm watch put into effect by the, for, for us tomorrow afternoon. I think the severe thunderstorm watch is going to be in effect for lo most of Long Island except the South Fork, Connecticut, New Jersey, Hudson Valley, uh, New York City. Uh, we're going to see the severe thunderstorm watch in effect. There's a lot of heat. A lot of heat. You can see this heat. Look at this. And again, if we look at the dew points here, show the dew points here, and you'll see, look at that humidity. A nice little dew point pool ahead of that front. Uh, here we are at 8 o'clock. Uh, and the winds go uh, by eight o'clock already. You can see the dew points are already dropping. So the front will move through, and by eight, not after eight, nine o'clock, the severe thunderstorm risk is over. The dew points start coming down, and the temperatures start coming down. But boy, it is going to be a miserable day tomorrow. If you don't like the heat, it's a miserable day. Samantha Orgiri, uh, yeah, let's go to her. I think she should be taken to the pine. We, we should take her to the middle of the island and make her suffer in the heat. I think that's. You know, I got an idea. Let's take her. Take on the New Jersey. Yeah. That's what we should do, Samantha. That's what we should do to you. You can swelter it out. You know, she she just... I mean, this forecast is a joke here. I mean... So, hourly forecast. I mean, it's not going to be 68 at noon in Mineola. It's not going to... Even at the studio, it's going to be near 80. But they just forecast for the South Shore. It's unbelievable with this network. It's unbelievable. They had to be called out. I mean, it's so this. It couldn't be any more obvious what they gear to. South Shore 12, change your name already. You're not a Long Island news station. You're focused on the South Shore and the people that live there, and the rest of us are just forgotten. Just, just admit it already. You can't even do do the weather. They used to be very good with the weather. They can't even do that right anymore.
So, um, but anyway, let's get past tomorrow and the misery tomorrow. We're going to actually look at the skies. And even the RGM's cranking up the heat, right? It's going to be a brutal day tomorrow. So here's tomorrow, and you can see a good amount of sunshine. I'm sure there'll be some hazy skies, but plenty of sunshine to get those temperatures up. Here comes the front, and you can see this front kind of looks like it's going to make it through, and I think we'll actually manage to have a mostly sunny Friday, a pretty nice Friday, actually. And then Saturday, we'll probably see some more clouds again with the next cold front approaching. Uh, but I'm not going to really get into the weekend. we got a very active weather day tomorrow. Uh, heat, thunderstorms, a summer day in April pretty much. And here's... Here are, here's this cold front here. Look at that. What a monster this is. There it is right there, stretching all the way from Lake Charles, Louisiana, through Mississippi, Alabama, through Tupelo, Tennessee, into uh, west of, uh, into Kentucky, uh, and up into Ohio. And this is all heading in our direction. So this is something we're going to have to keep an eye on. And I'm sure there's a ton of lightning with this as well. Um, let's see what we got. All right, we have to get out of our area. There's nothing going on. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. So, yeah, we got a ton of lightning going on here. So, yeah, very active uh, weather day tomorrow. Uh, so pay attention to your weather forecast. I'm not going to keep you able to keep you updated because, again, today's the, tomorrow's the day. Of course, the hottest day of the, of the month is when I have the kidney stones out. But at least I'll be out for part of it. Uh, but it's only, I'm only going to be out for an hour or two. I wish I could be out for the whole day. I hate the heat. I really do. Uh, can't take it. That's it for this weather update. Thank you for watching.